Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptiles, and today I'm going to be reviewing a product for you guys. This is the Engbird or Engbird Smart Temperature and Humidity Sensor. Essentially how it works is that it connects to your smartphone, and when you're in your own house, you are able to check the temperature of wherever this sensor is from your phone remotely. I think it's a super cool concept. This is not a sponsored video. However, Ingbird did actually send me the product to review. So I'm going to make a quick video for you guys showing you the unboxing as well as my general thoughts and opinions about it. Moving on to the unboxing portion of this video, when you open the simplistically designed box, you are greeted by an information slash instruction manual that highlights some of the features of the app, as well as a little bit of the warnings and setup. Behind that, there's a warranty card, which lets you know that you have a 12-month warranty on this device. And following that is what I can only describe as a miniature white hockey puck, because, you know, I am Canadian, so that's what we refer to. This is the actual unit itself. It's extremely sleek and very minimalistic, which makes it an extremely appealing device. Device. The surrounding packaging contains the only cable that is required for this device, and that is the temperature and humidity sensor at the end. And then on the other end, there is the pin connector which connects to the device itself. Now, instead of talking to you guys about it forever, I want to show you it in action. I want to put it in my brand new leopard gecko cage. As you can see, it is a more desert type landscape. Temperatures will be on the warm side at the hottest point, about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And at the cooler side, it'll be about 75 to 80 degrees. So what I'm going to do is thread the cable through the top of the tank and then out to this module. Now that I have the cable plugged into the device, I'm going to install their app and while I do that, it should be noted that you do not require any external power or anything to run this unit. That's a feature that I think is really, really handy because it allows you to put this device anywhere in your room or on your cage or wherever you need it and it doesn't have to be anywhere near a power outlet. The pairing of your device to your smartphone is really quite simple. You just have to put your device in close proximity to the Ingbird and then it pairs automatically. You really don't have to do anything. Once you've done that and you've paired it to your phone, now you can choose the different settings that it allows you to choose. Indoor, outdoor, child, car. They have several different options that you can choose and it will give you the optimal humidity and temperature of that given area. One thing that I noticed is that when you select pets it really just picks like a dog or a cat so it's not completely accurate and it's not 100% programmable but it is definitely something that can be worked on and easily fixed in the future. There you have it. Real data of what it's picking up in there. That's really cool, actually. So this can be achieved through anywhere in your house. I believe you do have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. You guys can see it is 21 degrees in there and 32% humidity, and that is right on his basking spot. A couple really cool features that I noticed while scrolling through the app is that you can actually set alerts. So if you are, you wanna set it for whichever parameters as you can see there, you'll get an alert if it exceeds those. So I think that's actually really, really cool. This would be especially useful if there was a cloud connection where you could get notifications anywhere. That way you'd be warned if your temperature was getting too high or your humidity was getting too low. Something for Ingbird to think about. I'm gonna see what this temperature is reading versus the actual thermostat that I have controlling as heat. So I'll have two various readings from two different sources about the heat in Stryker's tank. So as you saw, these are just my first impressions. I just opened it and just started testing it. If you guys are interested in my thoughts and my overall review, I can post another video later on in the future explaining what I think about the product and how it ended up working. But for about $40, $45 in the US, uh, it's really, really worth the price. I think that is super cool and certainly beats out the price of any of the current reptile thermometers and hygrometers. So if you guys are really interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description for you to go check it out. There will be some extra information down there as well. Keep in mind, I'm not being paid to make this video or to say anything positive or negative about this. These are just my first impressions. And if you guys are interested in picking one up in the future, make sure you go click in the description. There will be a show more tab and link to the Canadian and the American Amazon links so you guys can go pick it up for yourselves. After sending the video to Ingbird, 
I actually got a reply from them. And for my American viewers, you guys can get 20% off with the use of the code on the screen right now. The code will expire April 20th, 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was relatively short, but uh, I think this is a super cool product. Go check it out. If you liked the video, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comment section. I also want to hear, for those of you that decide to pick one of these up, Leave your general thoughts and review about it in the comments as well. If you guys are interested in more reptile, frog, fish, and plant related videos in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it. That way you get notified every time I post a video. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.